Hey guys, Michael Kim. Lorraine Baldovi Mason. All right, we got another whip variation for you. This one's pretty cool. We're going to be bringing the lady into a sweetheart or actually what's called a shadow pose, and then we're going to go into a telespin series right off of that. So I'm going to start off with an open position and go directly into a basic whip pickup. Counted one, two, three, and four. Then I'm going to position myself so that I'm sideways to the track on beat five, bringing the lady inside like an underarm release, but actually catching her at the hip to stop her when she's sideways. So we're going to get the lady to get a little stretch by bending into our left knee, which is giving her a breath right there. And then from here, I'm going to turn the lady past my left side, pass her with my right foot, take the hand over my head, release the waist from the lady's back. Then I'll take the hand and I'll give it a toss away from the body, pick up the back, and then send her on out, triple step. Drawing her in on count one, two, three, and four, stepping out of the track on five, and blocking the turn on six. So I'm actually catching her, keeping her flat to the slot. Then I'm going to draw her back across the left side, pass her with the right foot, take the hand over the head and keeping her close to the body by holding the arm to her back a little longer. Then I'll drop the hand from the back, keep the hand real close to the back of my head, bring it down, give it a toss, pick up her shoulder blade and send her out and do a triple ending. So again, from this angle, we'll lead the whip. One, two, three, and four. Bring her under five, catching on six. Bringing her around seven, eight, nine, and ten. Dropping the hand, giving it a toss, picking up the back, and sending her out, triple step. Okay, one more time. One, two, three, and four, five, check six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Throw it around and come out with your anchor basic. A couple of notes now for you. Drawing her in on the one, the two, three, and four. Get this right shoulder down and back so she can clearly see she's stepping through. Put the hand over the top, keep your right hand in front of her. Catch the hip before she can get rotated. So ladies, what I'm feeling from her right now is she's filling up that space. She's going all the way into my right hand, making it snug so I have something I can power into the next turn. And with this connection here, now that you're in close position, you do not want to get this left arm trapped down below. You want to bring that elbow up, not directly towards the No, space. don't do that, don't do that. No, that would be bad. <laughs> bring it up and through so he can get through that actually, unscathed. That actually helps turn her around. Mm -hmm. And then I would end up with my extra turn on the end and let her out. Now, if you want to simplify this, for those of you who are fairly new to the dance, you can do the same pattern, really simple. Bring her around. You turn with her once, and then you can just let her out. Triple step. So you may not want your spin. Maybe you're not ready to handle that back-to-back -back spin. So that would be a good way for you to end that. OK, we're going to do one more time. Count of one, two, three, and four, five, check six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, and 14. So you got a 14 count whip variation there for you.